All right, so I finally decided to replace the ball nuts on the um, pitman arm where the drag link rides. Um, this is the original one. It's really at a round. You could probably even see it in the video, but you can feel it. If you roll this around in your fingers, you can feel it's almost egg shaped. And I measured it with a caliper and it's like 20 or 30 thousandths out around, like it's quite a bit. And I was reading the articles about, you know, on the stove vault site about these trucks and, you know, they still sell rebuild kits for the drag link, right? That's kind of filthy right now, but, um, you know, I bought the, re the, the rebuild kit. It includes new springs, new uh, cups and washers and things like that, which helped. Um, but again, if you, if this is at a round, you know, when you go to tighten it up, you know, you may get it nice and snug, but then when you go to steer it, it's going to either loosen up or get kind of sticky, depending on where you hit the high high and low spots. So I was reading some more, and uh, the later trucks, like 53 and above, I think, got rid of this multi-piece design, and they started using a more modern one where the balls are integrated and uh, they screw on. So these are pressed on, and every article I read said they are a monster to get out. And this one was. Um, so basically, what you do is, you know, it's pressed in there, and it, it comes through, and the, the ends are peened over. Um, so basically, the ends pop out a little bit, and then at the factory, they, they mush them down over the back of this so it won't come out. Um, so what you have to do is you grind it down first, right? You can see it because it's, it's raised. You can see like it looks like a little weld, a uh, little pile of weld or something. But, you know, it's raised in the back. You grind it down flush and then you can see the, um, the different, the, the opening where the stud meets the arm, right? And then what I did was I tried pressing it out just like that on my little 12 ton press and it wouldn't budge. So I put it in the drill press with a step drill, and I drilled down a bit into the stud, and then I put a big, uh, I wanna say it was a 9 16th bit. I don't know if it had to be that big. And then I drilled down a little further. You could see where I went in. Uh, then I put it back in the press, and as I pressed it, the hole I made, you can see it, it kinda collapsed in and, and tore away and then it came out no problem pressed right out you know i had to get a little creative you know i had to put a, a little um socket in there but it pressed out arm is nice and clean um and now i can put in a modern drag link that doesn't have to be pressed in it's just a push fit with a threaded end and now uh, i got to do the other side so we've got this piece, we got to get that off. Same procedure, and again, this was really out of round two, but that's not hard to get off. You got two bolts there that go through into the um, brake housing area, but I got to take that off, which is a modern um, tie rod that I upgraded a while ago, so that just threads on. Just undo the nut, get that off, rinse and repeat with this. And make sure you capture it nice and tightly in your press plates so you don't end up bending any of your uh, your parts. All right, I'll be back with more. I'll let you know how it goes.